during the height of the pandemic, the government declared a health care emergency that is set to expire soon. Dean Cameron, president of the National Association of Insurance Commissioners, spent some time with the ISF to discuss the impact this will have on health insurance. Let's talk about this issue that's happening right now. Um, a little insight for those who don't know. Um, can you explain a little bit about what's happening with the national uh, public health emergency that's happening? So the public health emergency was started during the pandemic and it provided additional benefits, additional subsidy to, con to listeners, to consumers. That has been set to, to end and just got extended till January 11th, but we believe it will end on January 11th. So now's an opportunity for consumers to review their situation because we're, we're right now in, going into open enrollment. Yeah, and what effect would the emergency ending in January have on health insurance coverage? So when the emergency ends, they'll review your situation and potentially you will lose coverage. Um, and that, at, by, by that time, your open enrollment period, some of them will have closed. So now's the opportunity to take advantage of the open enrollment, look at your situation, determine whether or not you are gonna lose benefits um, and make adjustments accordingly. Mm, it's very important. Now, another thing that's important is how can consumers protect themselves against misleading advertising around Medicare and Medicaid and ensure they're getting good coverage? Yeah. So if, if, if you haven't seen enough political commercials, wait till the Medicare commercials start. They come into play and uh, consumers are bombarded with them from their favorite childhood actor or their favorite football player or whatever. Uh, Look, most of those, if they sound so good, too good to be true, they likely are. Um, the, there's no such thing as a limited offer or a special discount or call now and we'll get your money back. Those are all gimmicks to get people to buy coverage from usually somebody out of state. We recommend working with a local agent, somebody who you trust and have confidence in and that you can reach out to if you've got a problem. But if you can't get a local agent or don't have one, then we ask you to go to your state department of insurance. Your Florida commissioner is a great guy and is doing a, a great job. So you can go to him. Also within the state is some state health insurance assistance program or senior health benefits advisor. What They're all called by different names. Those give unbiased uh, advice as to how to pick the plan that best suits you. Uh, it's Awesome stuff to know. Dean, if people who are watching want to know more information, where can they go? So you can go to NEIC.org if you want to locate your local Department of Insurance. You want to find out where the Florida Department is or wherever uh, it is. Or you can go to your local agent. Perfect. Thank you so much, Dean Cameron. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you.